This is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crimes, narrated by Eddie Jackson Jr. And I done got my cousin Neil and Carl and told me, let me say this first. This is Harmony Drops. These are very good drops. You put two under your tongue, let it sit for 60 seconds, and then swallow. I usually smoke a joint with it. And it's a beautiful product. This is ISO tea. It helps curve your appetite along with exercise. I walk run about five miles a day at Cotter Park and I drink two packs of this. It's in cold water, shake it up and drink it and it helps curb your appetite and work your own. Now, as I said, I'm Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is my father, Eddie Jackson, who is no longer with us. For everybody who think I put Neil's picture out there and I put Neil out there, let me give you a story. One Saturday afternoon, we was going up to visit my father at Mila. My father come out, he said, Eddie, who is Neil? I said, Pop, what you mean who is Neil? He said, look, man, world them over there finna stick Neil in the shower and nearly kill him. Who in the fuck is Neil? I said, you know who Neil is, Daddy. Now, world, Neil then went to penitentiary after he saved Otis' life, okay? And he fucked around and ran in the world and didn't move out his way. Now, world was finna put him in check. So now, world is finna stick him in the shower. They finna hoist him, you understand? Neil is on the point of, he's telling, look, I know Eddie Jackson, you can't. World told him just like this. If you don't know Eddie Jackson, I'm, don't worry, but I'm going to deal with you for real. And he wasn't playing. He was going to hurt that boy. World sent a kite to my father. My father told him after he asked me that, so I said, look, man, that's Doc's son. Don't let World hurt that boy, man. World was finna disable Neil. So for all y'all who say I put Neil's picture out there just like he saved Otis's life, when World sent the cat a kite to the fat man from penitentiary, looking to, if you know who World is, and he got it in for your ass in penitentiary, you know your ass is out. So Neil sent up the only name he knew to save his life, Eddie Jackson. Now, I can't say my cousin's name, Neil, or show his picture, because y'all think something big about it? I don't give a damn what y'all think. Y'all go deal with world and then come back and tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, share. Please sign up. This is a penitentiary story here. Fucking with world ain't no joke. And anybody been to penitentiary, in penitentiary, at penitentiary, no. He ain't nothing to be played with. And if he wants your ass on the streets or in penitentiary, he will probably have it. So I like to say everybody who got to say how I put Neil out there. I didn't put Neil out there. I saved Neil's ass. Like, subscribe, and share. And I ain't telling too much of nothing. I'm telling the truth about times that's gone by. All the goddamn participants in the stories are dead or locked up for life in penitentiary. So who the hell I'm telling on? Let me ask y'all that. I'm giving y'all some entertaining stories that I watched and happened. I ain't telling on nobody. But y'all, oh, he putting you out there, Neil. Yeah, I'm the one that saved Neil's ass from world. The fat man did, not me. My father did. C. Dale was world's brother. And C. Dale was my father's main man. C. Dale was one of the only people who could get in our house in Southfield when my father wasn't home. C. Dale and his woman in that orange Corvette. Peace, love, share, like, peace and love. It's all for y'all, baby. I'm coming at you. This is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crime. Look at my bio and I'm out.